Ukrainian general named the reason why Ukraine does not declare war on Russia. Ukraine will not declare war on Russia because it is not profitable for it. As ex-deputy chief of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, Igor Romanenko explained, Kyiv is afraid of losing Western help. Answering a question about a possible declaration of war on Russia, the Ukrainian retired general explained that Ukraine would not do this under any circumstances since it would immediately lose help from the West, which is actively avoiding a direct clash with Russia. And transferring military aid to Ukraine, which has declared war, means taking its side. Therefore, Romanenko urged not to grasp at definitions. We have a large-scale war. Legally, this is enough for us. If we went to a state of war, then assistance for weapons and equipment would cease not only from the United States, but also from most of the Allies. They have this written in the law, said the general, adding that even in the current situation, there are closed points in assistance from the United States. Today, Ukraine receives virtually no military assistance from the Americans who have switched to Israel. The right to support the Kyiv has been transferred to Europe, but it cannot do it alone. And the internal problems of the European Union do not make it possible to compensate for most of the US assistance. If war is declared, Kyiv will lose even the little assistance it receives. Recall US Senate Majority Leader Democrat Chuck Schumer said that a consensus was reached that Congress could act quickly to send aid to both Israel and Ukraine. As reported by ABC News, Schumer expressed hope at a press conference in New York that something could be done this week to help both countries. He noted that the best way to send aid to Israel and Ukraine is for the House of Representatives to pass the Senate-approved National Security Supplemental Act, which includes aid to both countries. The Senate passed the 95 billion US dollar package in February, but House Speaker Mike Johnson did not bring it to a vote. U.S. deploys additional resources to Middle East due to Iran threat. The Pentagon deploys additional resources to the Middle East as Israel and the United States prepare for a possible Iranian attack on Israeli targets in the country and the region as a whole, according to CNN. According to an anonymous American official, the aim of the move is to bolster regional deterrence efforts and increase force protection for U.S. forces. The Pentagon is working on enhancing the air defense of American troops stationed in Iraq and Syria, which have been subjected to over 100 attacks by Iran-backed proxy forces from October to February. The U.S. does not anticipate Iran to attack American forces in retaliation, but is relocating forces just in case. U.S. President Joe Biden expects Iran to attack Israel sooner than later. I don't want to get into secure information, but my expectation is sooner than later. Biden told reporters when asked how inevitable an Iranian attack on Israel is. He also addressed Iran and said, don't. He also noted that the United States is devoted to the defense of Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel and we will help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed, Biden said. In early April, the Israeli military attacked the Iranian consulate in Damascus. The building was completely destroyed and a high-ranking Iranian general was killed in the attack. Amid this, Iran has repeatedly threatened to retaliate for such a strike. The White House has stated that the threat of an attack on Israel is real. It was reported that on April the 12th, sirens, warning of a missile strike, sounded in northern Israel. Over 50 rockets were launched across the country from Lebanon. The responsibility for the rocket shelling of the Galilee Peninsula was claimed by the Hezbollah group. In its statement, the Lebanese group claims to have launched dozens of Katyusha rockets. Oh, so true.